Hey gang, Jackalier here. Uh, we are going to attempt to do another uh, Fix It Friday. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to fix this one, but we're at least going to do a little uh, look-see and uh, see if we can actually fix it. So the first thing we're going to need, we're going to have a uh, lovely spot for all of our screws to go to. We've got our screwdriver set. We've got a few additional things in here, some Q-tips. Or some cotton swab sticks, I think is what they're actually called. So, you guys may recognize uh, this, which is the the Power Joy, and uh, this one is the one that I just bought. This one works, but it's got the little stick there is broken. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave this one alone for now because we know that it works fully. What we're going to do is we're going to take this one apart, which this one does not work. This one, uh, the power light comes on, but there is no video, and there is no audio. So I don't know if there's a problem uh, with the, the cable, we'll test that. Uh, but if nothing else, we'll just take this off. If we can't fix it, we'll take this and see if we can swap it into there. Either way, we'll get to see what the inside of a power joy looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and move that guy over there. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take out the cartridge. PowerJoy uh, PJ08. This is basically just a multi-cart. Uh, near as I can tell, it's just a it looks like a Famicom cartridge, and it could be. Uh, from the research, it is, and this is basically a Famiclone. Now we're also going to take this off, and this is where the batteries would go in there. And you can actually run this off batteries. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. Now there are a whole host of screws, as you can see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Lots of them. So let's go ahead and just start pulling them out. Oop, sorry about that. So here is the one from the front. Here is the one from back a little bit. So it is just slightly larger. So we're actually going to have to keep track. And what we'll do is we'll just go, the holes go this way, the screws will go that way. Uh, we can keep track of where they go. Uh, some features of the the power joy that I might want to point out. It actually does have the light zapper on the front. Got the trigger right there. Uh, these buttons are basically just multiplied. There's the start, select, the reset. Then this button, this stick, and this D-pad do the same thing. This is the plug for player two. So this did actually does actually support uh, two player games. Go ahead and see if we can crack this open. Pardon me. Time for some uh, coffee. All right. All right. Pretty easy so far. Just worried about glass. It makes me nervous. There we go. Okay, so I don't see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but the re this guy makes a nice sound. And this guy does not, because over time, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but when I, it doesn't actually make the pins touch. So that's what's happened there. But we are after this little guy. So now we're going to make the executive decision to just rip those wires off. And now we've got the whole bottom half that we can set over here. Uh, got our handy multimeter here and we're concerned with this down here 
which basically just says, is there a connection? So if I take these two and I tap them together, something happens. And that's what we're going to be looking for. We'll go ahead and but got this connected, touch this. So the yellow is making contact. So we're good there. And that is our video. So we know that that's good. So more than likely, this is just not functioning anymore. Even though the light comes on, somewhere on the board, something has happened to where it's just not working. I am by no means an expert. Two. And, oh. Hmm. All right, so we cannot fix that part because it is molded in there. like we are not going to be able to use this part to go into that one. Ah, I always forget. When you're not using your multimeter, turn it off. I run my battery down so many times that way. <laughs> 